Hey everyone, it's Miss Tarian and we're back with another video. We're back with another video. We're back. We're back. We're back with another video. Let's go. So today I am behind the camera and we're doing an Amazon unboxing as you can see. Now, as some of you may know, I have been doing my own nails at home and I did launch my website, which is tarigel.com where I do list my brand of nail extension gel, which is poly gel, and um, practice hands. Now, when I first started, you know, getting serious with it and really realizing, okay, you, you need, you're gonna need more than a hand file if you're gonna be doing your nails over and over, you know, religiously. And I thought about, you know, doing it more seriously. I purchased this um, nail e-file. Most people call it the nail gel. And even on Amazon, it's, that's where you're gonna find it on there, but really and truly the correct name for it is e-file. So we're just gonna say e-file today, just so we can sound all professional like, you know? Yeah. So with this e-file, what I didn't like about it was that to get this in and out, some of them, you know, you have a way to lock it like this and unlock it like that. This, you had to really hold it and pull this out and it was always hard to do well yesterday um jesse is what we're gonna call her jesse passed away um jesse will still turn on let me show you right now but you see this spring this spring i just put it on here so i wouldn't lose it is supposed to be in here and supposed to be in here but for some reason it would not spin so i said oh let me try to take this the spring out and do all sorts of stuff with it and then it would start to spin again but now as you can see this is a little bit further down because you know i guess because the spring isn't in there but it still will spin and stop spin and stop and just not as great as she used to be so i decided to get a new um e-file I did buy her in June, and as you can see, she didn't last very long. I don't know if it's because of my own negligence, because I'm new or what, but I did invest in a new e-file and a nail dust collector. I'm assuming that this might be the nail dust collector and this box might be the e-file, but as you can see, I haven't opened either, so I don't know what's in what. So let's open it together. Now, if you do your nails yourself or even go to the nail salon, you know that there is a lot of dust. And especially with poly gel, there is a lot of dust. Now, at first I was ignoring it and it was no big deal. But after a little bit, especially if you're working from home and you're doing your nails as well, and you're in this little room like what I'm in, then the dust ends up being everywhere. And it can be a little bit annoying. And being in a much smaller space. Oh no, this is the new e-file. Much smaller space, you end up feeling like you're suffocating. So I bought the same gel again, as if I didn't learn my lesson. But they claim that this is the new and improved version, where you're actually able to lock it and unlock it. And I still have the box for the first one. I'm going to show it to you right now. This was the first box. When Amazon originally shipped me the first one, this is how it came. It didn't come with the bubble wrap as you saw before. It just came like this. It was at my door. and um, But it worked for the time frame. There was no issues with it. And now, you know, this is the new one. So let's open it up together. Box does look a little bit beat up, but I'm guessing it should still be fine. Because if it came without a protective cover before and it was fine, it should still be fine. So we're going to have the same manual again as last time. They only give you like one page of English. Oh, I guess not. It does look a little bit different. Last time mine only had two, two little pictures. So it gives you the instructions and then forward, backward, and then yeah. And then everything else is, you know, not English. I have so many of these now. Um, I have, I just have so many. And now I'm gonna have two of these, but let's, let's unbox it as if it's the first time. So you get your, um, 
what are these called? Sanding bands. Yes, sanding bands. You get your sanding bands. Then you have your drill bits, which are not in their respective holders, but it's okay. We're not going to use these. And then you have these, which I'm also not going to use, but hey, I'm building up a nice little collection here. Here we have our e file pen in here. So you can already see the difference between the two. It has a little holder that you can clip on the side of the drill. So you'll be able to lock and unlock it this time. Oh, it only, it, it just goes that one way. You can't just twist it this way, it just goes that way. So let's try to put one of the bits in there right now and see how that goes. Because as you can see, I didn't really look through the manual. I looked at it, but I didn't read it. Let's see. Can I just put it in there like the first one? Nope, so you gotta twist it first to put it in there. So twist. Okay, and we're back. I feel so freaking stupid because I'm like twisting it and I'm like, it's not doing anything because that's all I was doing, right? I'm supposed to twist it all the way. You see that? Because I was just doing a little twist. I thought that's all I was supposed to do. Nope. Twist it the whole way. And then it pops out. Because I'm like, I'm not stupid. This is all it has on here. Why, why won't you open? And then, you know, you put it in here. Alright. And then you twist it back. And now, boom. It's supposed to be secure. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, at least it, you, can you pull it all the way out? You can, but you gotta fight with it. So if you pull it, yeah. Okay, let's try that again. I thought she was gonna hold it like super secure, like what? Okay, but I guess um, you really have to fight with it to get it out. It's not like it's just gonna come out with you just, you know, doing your nail. At least we hope not. So we're gonna use a sanding band to test it out. Um, so you're just gonna put that on like there. On a side note, seeing as I've tried a few drills now or e-files now, uh, my first e-file I bought it off of Amazon. Uh, my first e-file that was like this, I got it from Amazon. The second one I got from Shein, um, that died, I was taking my nails off and I turned it all the way up because you know, back then I was very, 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 very new. And I was doing my nails like super duper thick. And I turned it up and I was doing my nail and that thing burned right out. I just think I smelled it burning. <laughs> and then I, another one I had, what happened with that one? But that's what happens when you buy like the super duper 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 cheap e-files. This one is like $35 or actually no, seeing as this is the updated version, this one is $39. Uh, so this one is 15 watts. Jesse, who has passed away, was 13. So this is Jesse. I'm going to show you right now the difference between Jesse and we're going to call the new one Jess. So Jesse, as you can see, let me put them side by side. You can already see the difference. Silver and fatter, um, a lot thicker. The fact that you can twist this to secure this this one you gotta really pull it hard to get it out which is annoying very annoying but aside from that it was good she she worked pretty good and that's how i keep keep that i'm gonna do the same thing with this one moving on oh and let's identify the plugs is the plug the same thing let's see Oh yeah, it is the same, because look, that end and this end, they both look the same. But you know, one's a little bit thicker, but that's about it. And the fact that you know one's 13, one and one's 15. Let's plug that in, there we go. And we're going to unwrap 
double this right there. Now, mind you, I'm not saying that I'm a licensed nail tech. I'm not at that level yet. I thought, hey, because I, when I was looking it up initially, I'm like, oh, cool. I can go study to be a nail tech. I may not do other people's nails, but I'd still like to, you know, continue to do my nails and do other, anyone else's nails who wants me to do it. Yeah, I'm going to charge you. I'm not just going to be doing nails for free or whatever. But when I saw the price for licensing and um, doing your exams, you know, the license was like, what, $50 or something, if that much? So I'm like, oh, this is simple. This is easy. I can go do that. The license is so cheap. The exam is so cheap. Um, no. Okay, why is this thing making a sound as soon as I have it plugged in? It's not supposed to be buzzing or anything. Like, what? Are you broken? Don't tell me you're broken. Let me hook this on, put you on the side. You're not supposed to be humming or nothing. Are you saying a prayer? Wait, what? Huh? Okay, plug it in. Do you hear that? Is that normal? Even Jesse didn't hum. Let me plug in Jesse real quick so you can hear the difference. Jesse's plugged in right now. Let me turn it on. Obviously, when you turn her on and she's turned up, that's the only time you hear. The drill bit is, as you can see, isn't doing a damn thing. Nothing at all. Um, but aside from that, you don't hear any humming. But when I plug in the new one, you hear that? And you can feel it humming. I don't know if that's normal. Let me put it in where you can see it. I don't know if that's normal. You hear it? And then this is at one of the lower settings. Yeah, I think this might be defective. So that's it turned up all the way. Because look at that, even turned off. It's making that lo loud sound. Um, I'm gonna ask Amazon for a replacement. I don't feel safe using this. I highly doubt it's supposed to be making all of that noise. Are you serious? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. No, no. No. Uh-uh. I don't think you. So let's move on to our next box. Um, we're gonna package that up nicely and send it back. Cause I don't think it's supposed to be doing all of that cause Jesse didn't do all of that. Okay? So in this box, I know for a fact that this should be the nail dust collector. I might just use Jess just so we can, you know, test out the nail dust collector. I'm sure you saw that I probably almost got my hand. There we go. Oh, I thought it was pretty big because of you know, how the box was, but no. I'd actually leave some space in the box. So I did this one, I ordered this one because I saw someone review this and say don't just go out buying the most expensive um, nail disc collector. This one works pretty damn good so I'm like alright, I'll try it. I also did order some monomer. Um, 
monomer i just selected a random rock monomer because i decided that i'm finally gonna try using acrylic again just to see how awful it's gonna be because i've been doing so nice with my poly gel i'm like you know what i think i might eventually go back into the poly gel into the acrylic world because i tried that a few years back and oh my goodness it was awful but as you know when you're trying stuff out for the first time and you buy the cheaper stuff a lot of times the cheaper stuff is really the problem everything with the cheaper price isn't always the a good deal and i did try those little mia secret the little tiny containers it was awful it was chunky it was hard to get off i didn't know anything about needing a proper e-file back then i just bought a simple e-file it was hell but let's continue this unboxing so here is the nail disc collector here 40 watts i did see one for 80 watt i'm wondering hmm, should i find the 80 watt but let's see and we have a nail disc collector pretty goddamn light. Oh, did I rip it? Yeah, that's not the way it was supposed to go. Here it is. Let's put that on the table. And then this should just be your power card. Hopefully this one's working nicely and we don't end up with something else that's like buzzing. Oh, hold on so you guys didn't give me no manual let me check that box again you don't give me no manual what if i what if i don't know how to use this thing i know it's pretty simple self-explanatory yes there was a manual i just didn't take it out of the box oopsie so here we go parts instruction desk collector one removable filter storage sorry strong 4500 rpm fan ac adapter Cause I'm like, oh, I don't know how often to change this, how to change it. Yeah, there are videos of your instructions are supposed to say that. And then it shows the same exact nail file or one that looks like the nail file that I have or the e-file that I have. And uh, yeah, these are the instructions and let's get to it. So is it this way? Yes, it is this way. So as you can see this little thing here, you just pull that right out. Let me see. And then you should be able to just tap, 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 tap the dust out because that's how I see everybody else do it. Just tap, tap, tap and tap all that dust out. And uh, let's see where the power button is. Is this a plastic thing to pull off? No, guess not. So on, off. And uh, then the plug is on the other side. So let's uh, plug it in and see how she goes. We're so gonna plug that in like so. Make sure it's in the off position. Which I don't know which direction that is right now, but we're gonna figure that out. Alrighty. Um, it seems the fan only probably has one speed because I only see that one button on there to power it on and off. And um, let's just check the manual real quick just to verify because I don't want to give you any false information. Let's see how you hear me while I talk. So I'm going to try to talk normally and try not to raise my voice throughout this entire video. So let's see. So this is how it would be if I were talking normally and decided that I was going to do it in So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this practice pen, which you can get on your website, www.com, as a pad pen, and this is set by the rest of my day. And on the this one, it looks beautiful. I kind of feel bad. So as you can hear, 
the fan is a bit loud not sure if it's because you know my phone was right up under it or right in front of it but you can hear me but just barely so because i don't want you to just listen to the fan going the whole time because it was getting on my nerves re-listening to it while i was editing i'm like yeah no i'm not gonna leave that in there so here i am you know trying to test it out with my hand file to see you know how it collects the dust and it mainly collected all the dust right in the middle and the good thing about the hand file as you can see there's dust getting on my hand and because of how hard i am filing the nail you know it's expected to cause the dust to go everywhere but that didn't really pose an issue because see everything is getting sucked up by the fan so to carry a conversation with this fan going on yeah it's gonna be a little bit loud you know you're gonna have some sound going there so next up i wanted to try out the e-file to see how it would do with you know because i'm expecting the e-file to file off more product more a little bit faster like if it would keep up and it still kept up so as you know the e-file was having a little buzzing issue and um so next up you had the buzzing and the fan going together not a very good combination but it's fine because i am getting a replacement e-file off do you hear the buzzing do you hear that i don't think that's normal and you can even feel it you know vibrating so i'm gonna unplug that before i start a fire because i don't need no fires and then they say to clean it oh let's brush this into here first Let's see, let me use my little brush here. Let me turn it back on. I just brushed the dust into the fan. Let's turn that on. I'm not really 
really seeing any dust on the table. Um, I do see just a little bit right here on the side of the fan, but none is actually on the table. So obviously the dust collector is doing its job. And then you pull this out. You take a look at it. You can see, let me turn the other light on because I feel like we've lost some of our light because I did accidentally unplug it. You can see the pinkish reddish hue, right? Now I have a trash can right by my feet. I'm just gonna turn the dust, turn it over and tap, 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 and tap it right into the trash can. And it's going in there. See, I just tapped it into the trash can and that seems to have gotten the dust out. Then again, it wasn't a whole lot of dust. So let's see what happens if we turn the fan on. I'm assuming it's just gonna come on even though the this isn't in there, the filter isn't in there. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Be careful with this so they don't go around turning it on and sticking anything in there or putting their finger in there. So be careful with that. And that is practically the end of our unboxing. Actually, let me just open up the monomer with you guys, even though I don't have any acrylic to use it with right now. Because the next video is going to be when I do actually try to do acrylic nails. And uh, if I do learn how to use acrylic or try to use acrylic and it turns out good and i really enjoy it and obviously that's you know that's i'm gonna have to learn how to do acrylic anyway if i decide to well not if i when i have enough money to actually get my license like acrylic is what they use it's not like i can go in there with poly gel so i'd have to slowly turn it because i think they're gonna want to see you do some sets a full set for finals i think so, I bought this brand. I was gonna buy a no scent uh, monomer, but when I saw that a lot of the brands, I would see, oh, and you also get a free, what do you call it, dap and dish. I bought two of these on my own before. Where's the other one? I have no clue, but I have one that I'm always using every time I'm doing nails. And I, I was happy with this as well because I'm like, oh my goodness, you're going to give me a brush? Now I don't have to buy a brush. Because I'm like, okay, I'm going to need brushes for acrylic because I only have my poly gel brush. I do have another brush that I figured that I could use. Um, what size are these? Are the sizes on there? Let's see. Do not see a size on there. Are they all the same size? I think they might be. Right, no. Uh uh, they're not. When I have them side by side, they're not the same size. The biggest one or the broadest one? Oh, it's not in frame, sorry. The biggest one or the broadest one seems to be this one. And the smallest is this, and then this one's up next. And uh, this is it. I paid like, and it says non-yellowing. I paid like about what ten dollars, I guess, for this. Um, it does it have a seal? Yes, it does. Let's pierce that. Didn't mean to stick my finger that far. Oopsie. And it has the typical, you know, monomer smell. So when I went to purchase um, a new an odorless monomer. I would see like, for instance, this is four ounces, right? The normal four ounce bottle will be like, you know, eight, nine, ten dollars. Like, okay, cool, I'd like, I prefer the odorless. And then the odorless is like 24, 25, 30 dollars and up. And I'm like, oh, wait, what? Is it at least a bigger bottle? No, I guess they charge you more for the convenience of there not being any odor. It'll be the same four ounce bottle for a double or a triple the price. So I'm like, okay. 
I'll just go get me a, a regular <coughs> monomer smelling monomer and see how it works. So I just bought a random monomer. I did have or I do have a uh, Mia Secret monomer that I had bought a long time ago that I still have. I don't know how much I have in there. That's why I decided to, you know, buy another one in case I don't have a lot to try to do a full set. So that now is the official end of our video. We're gonna put these back inside the box until we're ready for it so I don't lose anything. And I'm gonna contact Amazon about a replacement drill because I do not think that it is supposed to be buzzing like that even when it's not powered on because let me show you again here it is indicator light it shows that it's off and you plug it in why are you hearing that and then when you turn it on obviously when it's on you're not gonna hear it too much especially if you have the fan on as well let's turn it down Especially if you have the fan on, then you don't hear it that much, but you still hear a buzzing coming from this. So I'm going to contact Amazon. I'm going to go check out some other videos of people who have this so I can figure out like, is it normal? Is it because it's a 15 watt? But I highly doubt it. Highly, highly, highly doubt it. But it is Miss Tarian signing out. See you next time. Bye.